Welcome everybody, this is your boy Enjoy the Matero and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like the video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters of this YouTube channel. A big shout out to Crazyboss V31, Weez GNZ Gaming, and even Maori Superman YT. Now these people are our YouTube members on our YouTube platform, and I really do appreciate their support. So why don't you go inside my description below and go check them out and we're going to get straight into the video now this video is all about on how to install HKH inventory script mod so all you guys got to do is go inside my description below and go and download all of the latest requirements that's inside my description below once you have completed that process then download this mod and I will leave this mod inside my description below. Once you have completed that process, then this mod does require MK2 Weapon Giver. So download this mod and I will leave this mod inside my description below. Now lastly, this does require Lemon UI. So when you go to the Lemon UI GTA 5 mods website, just keep scrolling down and I go to version 1.5.2 and download this version over here please do not download from over here because it does not require so once you have finished with that we can get started so all you guys got to do is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game hover over it right click and open file location create a scripts folder if you don't have one, then right click, create a new folder, and name that folder scripts. Make sure that you do spell scripts correct, and make sure that it's all lowercase. Once you have done that, open up your scripts folder. Now as you can see, mine is completely empty, so let's get started. Open up your Lemon UI extract folder, go to your SHVDN2 folder, Select all the files and drag it inside your scripts folder. Now open up your SHVDN3 folder. Select all the files and now drag it inside your scripts folder. Then exit out of your extract folder. Next open up your MK2 giver extract folder. Go into this folder. Go into the scripts folder. Then I select all the files and folder except for the text file and drag it inside your scripts folder. Then exit out of your extract folder. Now lastly, open up your inventory scripts folder. Then go inside this folder. Now all you guys got to do is go inside the scripts folder and now select all the files except for the text file and drag it inside your scripts folder now go back to your main menu over here and just minimize that for now now once you have done that go to your GTA V main folder right click refresh your game folder exit out of your game folder then go to your open IV then go to Grand Theft Auto V Windows this process will take a few seconds, it all depends on your PC performance. Go to edit mode, select yes, go to your mods folder, go to update, go to update.rpf, go to time64, go to textures, then wait for textures, then go to your script txds.rpf. Now all you guys got to do is go back to your inventory extract folder. Now inside your main folder you'll see a YTD. All you got to do is simply select that file and drag it inside here. 
and now there it goes and I've exited out of your extract folder now if you want to find that file that you just installed just go to your search bar over here and type HKH and now the file is right there okay go to edit mode then now exit out of your open library right click refresh your desktop and I'll see you guys in the game and now we are in the game so as you guys can see my game did work and I it didn't crash so once you're in the game okay you can simply use your key and the key to actually open up the inventory just press your one key number one do not press the number one on your d-pad it is the number one or oh, that's next to the tab okay so press one and now there it goes now what you can do over here is that you can select your weapon I'm just going to select this one over here right click and then now equip and then now you can just yeah press one again and now it's on your hand so there you go press one again then select this one over here I think that's a flare right click equip or drop it if you want to press drop there you go or you can just right click equip again and now we've got oh wait we dropped the flare so let's choose um this gun over here okay right click equip and now press one then now we can shoot now press one again one more time and now let's choose this one over here right click equip and then I press one and then now we can do all that see pretty cool so this is an awesome mod and I really do like it and we're back again so I hope you guys do enjoy that mod but before do you go just to remind you guys okay to press the number one key next to the tab and that will open up your inventory and now right click on the weapon that you want to equip and now equip it and then press one again that's all you got to do so i hope you guys do enjoy the mod but with that said if you guys do get stuck installing this mod then please let me know in the comments or if you do get stuck installing any other mods then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that as well. So, like always, if you guys did enjoy this video or if this video was helpful, then smash that like button and subscribe for more content and tutorials. And I will see you all on my next video. Thank you for watching. Peace. And I'm out.